Hey BBs, it's Plastic and same back with y'all for another video. Today's video, I really just wanted to sit down and go chat about um, Rainbow High Series 4. Um, kind of a retrospective type video today as Series 5 just came out and I obviously like, I want the new Series 5 dolls but I also want to take a minute to like look back on the iconicness of the last series and also a way for me to like not buy them all at once because like these dolls are a reminder that like things don't just like come and go and like dolls don't have to be like fast fashion items where like they can be in your collection for a long period of time just not because of hype so i just want to go through these dolls because they're all really really gorgeous and join me at my desk so we take a closer look at them because they're all really fierce so the series four rainbow hide lineup was like released around like springtime of last year and the whole like line was very like cool tone jewel tone um it was a really pretty lineup and i think they look super stunning in this rainbow formation the first doll i guess from the series was mila not like the first one but like the red one i guess was mila um, and this doll was really cool. We didn't really get that much personality with her, though. Like, she kind of held up a camera for, like, a second in, like, two episodes. And, like, she kind of just disappeared from the face of the earth. So, we don't know that much about Mila herself. But I think she's a really gorgeous doll. I feel like her outfit kind of tells a story that maybe she's into, like, the theater and the arts and everything. Because, like, this outfit reminds me a lot of just, like, a theater outfit. Um, her, her, like, everything about her is so stunning. I love, like, the hoops in her hair. The color blend was also really stunning with, like, the violets and pinks. And the makeup was also really fun. At first, I did not like this dress at all. Like, you'll, if you, like, watch my review back or whatever, I tear up this dress because I just don't like it. But after, like, you know, seeing it on her a lot more, I'm just kind of been obsessed with it. And I love these fabric boots. The Series 4 dolls also, most, some, not most of them, but, like, some of them came with, like, really cool fabric boots and, like, um, the detail was just, really, like, really unmatched. Like, I love, like, the little studs on these as well. Like, these are, like, embroidered. I just think this is a really cool lineup. They also kind of had, like, the OG, like, little hand mold, though. But I think Mila, though, was a great addition of the reds. Mina Flora was the, um, orange character of the lineup, and she is so beyond cool. Um, I've truly been obsessed with Mina. I think she's probably one of my favorites from the lineup. This doll is just so beyond stunning. We get this really nice vibrant orange hair, and this makeup is so cool. I love how it reflects light, just, like, how shimmery it is. And, like, the earrings are also really cool. I kind of mixed and matched, I think, her first and second outfit to create this really pretty, just, like, satiny orange, like, moment. The first outfit's really cool. I, I like the, like, tassel, I guess, on the cape, or on the, um, sh shirt. The little buttons are also really fierce. And this doll comes with a lot of cool jewelry. Comes with a lot of details. And, like, her ha hands both have henna on them, which... For a $30 doll, these all retailed for $30, was kind of insane to have, like, a full-on henna. Bracelets have, like, paint on them. Or not all of them, but, like, they have, like, some sort of effect on them that makes them stand out. And they're not just, like, a matte blob of plastic, which is really cool. And the outfit and the skirt as well was really nicely detailed. Um, like, I love how pretty it is. Mine's still kind of folded from the box, but whatever. This doll also had removable legs. There was a couple dolls in the series where you could remove their legs. If I could remove it. Hello. Okay, so the legs did remove so she can have flat feet and the heel to feet. I chose the heeled shoes just because her shoes are kind of hard to put on, but she had these really cool sandals. But let me get this off camera. But I put her, and I think this is her first outfit shoes, if, you rem if I remember. The paint and the molding on these is so beyond killer. I am obsessed with it. But she did also come with these really high uh, detailed, like, sandals, which are really fine in her second outfit. Um, and they were really, really cool, but they obviously had to accommodate the flat feet, so if you wanted to change those, you'd have to change her whole legs, which was kind of annoying, but I can obviously see why they did that. Mina's character also didn't really get that much development. She had an episode where she was, like, the dancer, and she also had a song in Rainbow Vision, which is actually really cool. So maybe she is a little bit more fleshed out than I think she is, but she's a really cool character, and I love how she used her culture in the Rainbow Vision show. I think she had one of the best music videos and the best songs, but I don't know why she- I know why she didn't win, because she, she's not, like, marketed as a Rainbow Vision doll. But she was a really cool addition to the competition, and I really liked her dancing episode a lot. I think it was just really fun to see that side um, in Rainbow High. We also have Delilah, who is a really stunning pastel doll. She is gorgeous, and I think she is the first albino character, if I'm not wrong, um, which is really cool to see, I think, in a doll form that we really don't get that much rep re representation in. This doll was also really fun. We got to know her personality a lot more, I think probably the most out of all of these, maybe Coco. Um, but she was, like, the songwriter, singer, songwriter, not singer, but like, she was a songwriter for Rainbow Vision. She helped Sabrina, um, with the song that she sang eventually, like, to, you know, her, the elimination song or whatever. Um, and I got to see this really cool friendship between her and Sabrina, which honestly was really, really fun and really made me want this doll a lot. I loved how we got to see characters connect with each other for, like, probably, like, the first time in a while with these dolls, like, with the show. 
Um, and I was I really enjoyed watching her character kind of progress. And this doll is also just beyond stunning. I love her like little like flower clips. They're so pretty, and her face paint is so detailed. Like the little like freckles all throughout her face, and the white lashes are so beyond pretty. I love the glasses as well. They're really detailed. And they have the lenses in them, bumblebee earrings, and I love her like little like country kind of I guess outfit. It's really fun. It's really cute, and it's very like sweet and innocent. I love like these like little like flowers. Like the detail on this dress is really cool. It had a couple details. Like, this is a separate skirt and everything. She also had a really cool bracelet, which you can kind of see here. Um, it's really, really fun. And these shoes are little cowgirl boots. Like, she's so fierce, and she's so, like, pastel and pretty and so cute. Like, she's just, like, so, like, girl on the field. I'm gonna go write a song and be in love with my girlfriend. And, like, that's my tea. And I just love her. Jewel Richie is also a really fierce fashion designer. In the show, we got kind of got to see the side of her where she was, like, the designer for Rainbow Vision gowns, I think. Her and Jewel worked on them. Or no, her and... What's the other... Roxy. Her and Roxy worked on the dresses for the Rainbow Vision characters or whatever. And I thought that was really fun. But, but besides that, we didn't get to know too much about her, I don't think. She's really, really fun, though. I love, like, the emerald green kind of vibe that she has going on. I liked how they included Vertiligo, though, in her character. I think it's really cool and it, like, really makes her an interesting doll. I think she looks so beyond stunning. I love, like, the little heart on her forehead, which was always really fun and really cute. Her makeup was honestly really gorgeous and really luxe. My, there was a lot of issues, though, with this doll. Like, my lips are really messed up on her but i don't really like care um she has some really cool earrings and this necklace was actually like a little ribbon which is really fun i have her dressed in her second outfit i think this is but i think this outfit is so much better than her first it's so high detailed and it's so luxe like this like little like pleather snake skin thing is so beyond pretty i love the two-piece and this jacket blows me away that this is like a playline doll the faux fur on the pleather with all the little buttons like the i guess studs are so beyond cool like i'm just like in shock and the lacing detail as well is really really fun and really fierce this doll is just overall like a really great outfit and the shoes are fine like these shoes fall off though so easily so i had to rubber band them down but they're so pretty and they're so chic i just really love this doll's outfit and her aesthetic is so pretty but i really want to get another jewel richie doll in the future i think this doll has so much potential to be like a great reoccurring character if we ever get her again and i want to see her fleshed out a lot more same with mila because i just think she has like a lot of personality and i feel like she could be really this cool like mean girl maybe i don't know i think she's really fierce though Coco Vanderbilt, oh my god, a sneak peek. I think she might be my favorite from this lineup. This doll is so good. I was so excited. I got her for like $18, I think, at Walmart, um, which was really, really cool. And I really enjoyed her a lot. She was kind of really fun in the um, series as well. She's a very headstrong character. She knew what she wanted, and she's very confident with herself, which I think was a really good character arc to have. She was kind of the manager also for the Rainbow Divas, which makes sense because like Rainbow High is going to help out the Rainbow Vision School. And I like that she like kind of like introduced the bus playset, which is really funny and really fierce um but besides her being like a really fierce manager she was also just really really cool to see like her doll and her character like i love this like electric blue hair it's very vibrant and the edges are so fierce she come with these like little sunglasses which were really cool to see in like a play like a not a play line but like um a regular release and her makeup and face sculpt is so beyond pretty these lips are some of my favorites i think ever um, and she does have little, like, things on her hoops, but I took this off. Her outfit was also really cool. She came with two extremely high-quality outfits. This little, like, Converse or, I guess, shoe kind of corset thing was really cool. And I loved, like, the little skirt. Like, this whole, like, outfit's very, like, NASCAR to me. It's very, like, she's gonna go shut up and drive by Rihanna, maybe. I'm obsessed. And these shoes are also really cool. I like, like, the socks. Like, it's a really interesting sock fabric idea. And the shoes were very, like, sporty. Um, I do wish we kind of her, saw her, like, be a little bit more sporty. I don't know how that would work. But I feel like she could be, like, a really cool, interesting character. I really want to see more of her again. Hopefully, she is reoccurring. Leela was the last doll in this lineup. She is the purple kind of girl. And she is so fun. She's really, really fierce and really pretty. I really love her hairstyle as it's one of the first in instances of, like, as having, like, an up to. I feel like we don't really get, like like intricate styles um so she's really cool she has like a little ribbon in her hair and like the little braids the bangs are also really fun and i like that there's a like, green in there this doll is very springtime to me her makeup is also really gore delicious um she has these like little brows and this doll had a lot of issues i think you know when you found her like her lips are always a mess her lashes were always a less a mess and her band-aid was always misprinted my band-aid is kind of misprinted but i don't even mind because she's just like so beyond pretty i love the little like decal decal stickers on her face they're just so beyond cute and they're so f sweet i also love the face mold on this doll and i hope we get to see it again the earrings are also really fun and this is a combination of our first and second outfit i believe um i love this shirt it's so beyond cool um and i love like the skirt it's very like pretty and the bow on this outfit is really detailed 
Um, I am obsessed with it. She also came with the little fabric gloves, which was crazy cool. These are like pleather. I love fabric gloves on Rainbow High Dolls. I think they're really nice and they're not like rubbery. They're like actual fabric most of the time, which is so beyond fears. The skirt reminds me though a lot of Karma from the Series 2 dolls, which I don't even mind because I like this colorway a lot better. I think it's really fun and really fierce. And these shoes were kind of an issue when I first got them. You can kind of see them right now. They're kind of like falling apart. But um, I just kind of use rubber bands. Um, If you guys watch my review, they like put these on because like these would not stay on especially if i had longer nails but besides them like be just being ribbon shoes i wish they were plastic instead of like again the ribbon i think the detailing on like the soles are so beyond pretty but, like the flowering paint on these is so beyond pretty and it's on like every part of the heel it's so cool and i love how platformy these are this doll was also one of the dolls to have like an extra pair of legs so you can fit the flat feet along with her heeled crocs that she came with I'm going to quickly, though, rank these from my favorite over here to my least favorite. Um, and this is going to be really hard, though, because I love all of these so much. But I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. So I actually surprised myself quite a lot with this ranking. I first put Mina, which I was struggling with her and Coco for the longest time because both these dolls are very top tier to me. I love them so beyond much, but I just think Mina has a little bit more to her where I feel like she's goodbye but this doll just feels like really collector to me almost like i just think like the dress and like the henna and everything is so beyond cool to have in doll form and i'm just like obsessed with her a lot i think she's really pretty as again on my shelf but coco is also a really cool character and i love her outfits as well i just think i like the um mina a little bit more also delilah was kind of in the middle it was really hard to again gauge her because she's like a really really pretty doll and i didn't want to like put her too at the end but um kind of it's just hard because i love them all so much but i also have jewel richie here just because i think i would have liked her a lot more if she didn't have her facial defects like every single one of these dolls that i found in store had something wrong with her and i bought this one on amazon and i was just like whatever i'll be fine with it because the ones in store were honestly worse than the one that i found online so i was like it's whatever but this doll would be a lot more like she'd probably be first place if she didn't have all those issues with her face um which isn't like a big deal but like it's just like enough to bother me um Leela was also kind of ranked a little bit low like i really do feel bad that this doll was low but when we first saw those like teaser pictures on um ig i was really expecting miss Leela to have a lot of harajuku fashion just from her like face little stickers and everything and i am happy though about what we got but i was just expecting a little bit different so i wasn't like as obsessed with her when we first got her but i am again in love with her now and then Mila was just kind of the last one just because i feel like i don't know that much about her so i'm not like as obsessed with her but she is again a really pretty doll and all these dolls despite my ranking kind of being a little bit wonky i guess i love them also very much it was a really honestly crazy cool series for rainbow high and i think it's probably the best kind of like series lineup and don't take it from me but i think these dolls are a little bit better than series five i think these dolls are just like a little bit more exciting to me personally and i love all the colorways i love how vibrant they all are and i just like love the detail with each within each doll these also came with second outfits which is really fun and i really love the way that they kind of like introduce these dolls to us like again with the shadow high instagram being hacked and like the or like the, this was like the april fools prank or whatever and we got to see like little snippets from each character that was a really cool way to build up hype and i really did enjoy that despite me kind of being catfish with miss leela um but again i wish this this lineup was a little bit better just in terms of the facial defects because every single one of these i think except coco always had some sort of thing wrong with the lips or the lashes and i am happy though to see series 5 as being better with that there are still obviously the defects as these all are mass-produced dolls but i think it's been a lot better recently so i am really happy with that improvement but i just hope for again we got maybe reoccurring characters of all these dolls because they could be so fun in like new outfits new beach wear new formal wear whatever that team may be i just hope they don't just vanish into the void of rainbow high characters that got, that got lost but again one of my favorite lineups from the rainbow high brand i am truly obsessed with them all and i definitely am happy that i took a look back at these dolls to kind of you know think about them and not have to like go fomo and go crazy buying the new ones because we have gorgeous dolls right in front of us but thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's video. It was so much fun. Cool chatting with you guys about these dolls. Um, and please let me know your guys' favorites and least favorite dolls in the comments below. And, and any other stories you might have with the Series 4 dolls. I'm dying to know. But I hope you guys all have a great and fierce night. And I love you all so very much. Please stay fierce. And I can't wait to catch y'all in the next one. I love you all so very much. Goodbye. Mwah. Bye.